Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm finally going to be showing to you guys what's on my iPhone. And sobrang tagal ko na pinapromise sa inyo tong video na to. And for some reason, I didn't get a chance to film it and upload it. Anyway, since nagka iOS 14 nga, I actually asked you guys on Instagram kung gusto nyo ba na ayusin ko yung phone ko to make it iOS 14 and show you guys kung paano siya gawin. But I tried it out and it doesn't work for me. My lazy ass just couldn't do it. I says, wala akong time para isa-isahin ko pa na yung icons. Tapos, nainis din ako kasi pag change mo sa shortcuts yung icons ng apps mo, mag-redirect muna siya sa shortcuts din sa mismong app and I just don't like that. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys a lazy guide on how you can customize your phone using iOS 14 or just in general have a glimpse of how I organize my phone and some ideas as well. Disclaimer lang guys, I'm that person na mas gusto ko yung functionality kesa sa aesthetic, ganon. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's on my iPhone right now. Okay, so before starting this video, I wanna share with you guys my phone. So I have here an iPhone 11 Pro. I wasn't gonna buy a new phone until sumuko na yung phone ko. Actually, hindi pa siya suko, nasuko. Medyo pasuko pa lang siya. Like, medyo nag-glitch na, ganun. Tapos, nabasag na, ganun. So let me show you guys the case that I'm currently using. It's just this clear LV case. I just got this from Shopee for a really cheap price. I'll be putting the link in the description box if you guys are interested. Ayan. Kasi nag-thumbnail ako kanina, kaya tinanggal ko siya. Anyways, I'm gonna be screen recording right now to show you guys what's on my iPhone. Okay, so... Let's open my phone. Ayan. So, this is the first thing that you're gonna see. But this is actually my second home screen. But usually, dito ko kasi nilalock yung phone ko. Kasi ito lang naman talaga yung lagi kong ginagamit na home screen. Since I have here all of my apps and my to-do list. I'm gonna be showing it to you guys later. Pero, ito muna tayo sa first home screen ko. You're gonna see here a text that says, Keep learning. I actually got this widget from Widget Smith. Here's how you can do it. Sorry kung maingay yung aso, guys. So, first, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I make this widget from Widget Smith. Super easy. Um, I have the Widget Smith app. Kapag may iOS 14 ka, you can definitely use this to customize your phone. So, ayan, I use this small widget. For example, add small. You're gonna tap it and then... Um, tap it again. Pwede mo siya ibahin yung style. Um, kapag gusto mo text, you're just gonna press custom text. And put the text here. And then choose your color. Ayan. I'll be putting a brief video na lang in the description box so that you guys can see kung paano siya ginagawa. And then I have here my FaceTime, my calendar, photos, camera, clock, maps, weather, reminders, app store, note, settings, Google Calendar, and then another photo from Widget Smith. You can see here my schedule for school. And, ayan, I just used Widget Smith. Kahit medyo maliit siya, I used the, ano, the medium one pala kasi pag ganun siya, pahaba. So, dun lang siya nagkasha. But, I can see it naman kapag nakaganto ako. So, that's fine. I just really wanna see my schedule sa phone ko. I just like how it looks. Tinanggal ko yung iba ko na hindi ko naman ginagamit na apps, na common apps. So, my next home screen will be the home screen that I usually um, use or I usually see. Um, I have here my to-do list and if you're wondering, Angel, paano mo nagawa yan? Um, I just used the reminders na widget. So, for example, tanggalin ko to. Um, wait lang. Tanggalin natin siya. Ayan. How you can do it is you're just gonna be tapping that. Oh my god, nakakahiya yung <laughs> Anyways, you're just gonna be looking for reminders. Ayan. And then, I just added the biggest widget. Add widget, and then, ando na siya. You can choose um, any way that you wanna customize it. Like this. Um, itatap mo lang yun, name and appearance. And then, you can customize it with whatever um, look that you like. Ayan, pwede nyo palitan yung colors. I chose this color and then yung heart na icon sa baba. So, yeah. That's my to-do list and it's called daily kasi this is the to-do list that I use on a daily basis like every day ko siya in-update so it's super easy compared to when you're using Widget Smith or shortcuts for your to-do list kasi ito you can literally just tap it and then ito for example this one tapos ko na siya um, this one tapos ko na siya this one tapos ko na siya this one tapos ko na siya ayan pag back mo isa na lang yung matitira so that's super nice, super convenient, it's easy, and 
It's just a really nice way to customize your phone. And if you're wondering, Angel, bakit apat lang yung apps na nakalagay dito? It's because these are my top four most used apps. I have here my Instagram, my Grab Food, and my Messenger, and my YouTube. Since ito nga yung lagi ginagamit na apps, I really want them here with my to-do list kasi nga ito yung, yung lagi kong binibu na home screen. So, let's move on to my third home screen and my last home screen. I have here all of my apps, pero yung mga apps na to, yung hindi ko masyado ginagamit, pero I still wanna see them instead of putting them sa apps library. First will be my editors. I have here Snapseed, Lightroom, Visco, Onum, Afterlight, Layout, PixArt, Fonto, and InShot. These are the apps that I definitely recommend whenever you're editing photos or if you want to input text to photos, I use Fonto for that. If you want to arrange collages, I use Layout for that. And ito yung mga usual editing apps ko lang. And then, this is the only um, video editor that I have here on my phone. It's called InShot. I usually edit my Instagram stories na video and, and my IGTVs using InShot. It's a free app, but merong bayad yung ibang um, effects. Pero sulit na din kasi it's only for 600 pesos and you get one whole year of a pro account na. So, if you guys are looking for a good um, phone editor, I definitely recommend InShot. So, that's my editor's folder. And then I have here my Notion and my Stoic. Stoic is actually like a journal, a mobile journal app. And I rarely use these two apps, guys. Like, dinownload ko sila para lang, oh my god, I wanna try it out kasi para organized ako, ganto ganyan. Pero, it doesn't work for me. Notion doesn't work for me kasi I'm that person na mas nag-exert pa ako ng time sa pag-aayos ng Notion ko kasi sa actually doing my tasks. So, I told myself, Angel, give it up. It's not for you. Pero, I don't know, but it's still here on my phone kasi gusto ko pantay-pantay yung apps dito sa third home screen ko. So, ayan. Then, I have here my music um, folder. I have here my Spotify and Shazam. Shazam is actually a really nice um, app to use if ever you wanna listen to a music na, for example, narinig mo, tapos hindi mo alam yung title niya. Just press this one, ayan, tap it, and then it will listen to the song, and then sasabihin niya sa'yo kung ano yung title ng song. So, and then I have here my work folder, which has Zoom, Google Meet, Adobe, Fill and Sign. I usually use this to sign contracts for school and for work purposes. And then WhatsApp, Dropbox, and Viber. Yung Adobe Fill and Sign, guys. I definitely recommend that app. And then I have here, walang pangalan to, ganun lang. But I have here my Lala Move, Mr. Speedy, Food Panda, Waze, Gcash, Union Bank, PayPal, and JNT. Na. And then I have here my Sockmed folder. These are the apps that I use, but I don't use it as often as I use um, Messenger and Instagram. And that's why I place them in a folder. Then I have here my entertainment folder, which has my Netflix app, and then my TikTok, and then I have here my games. Be proud of me, guys, kasi dati talaga, wala akong games sa phone ko. Like, my phone was super boring, but now, I have games like Spongebob Krusty Cook-Off. This is my favorite, guys. This is my super favorite. Ay, may Among Us pa ako, kaso yung Among Us ko nasa iPad ko kasi gusto ko mas malaki siya. But ayan, oh my god! If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time already, you guys know that I love Spongebob. I just love the nostalgia and I just love cooking kasi dito magluluto ka. And for some reason, whenever I cook Krabby Patties, nakikrave ako ng McDonald's. I also have COD, Call of Duty, and then I also have my chess app. Ginamit ko to kasi nag-chess kami for our PE class. And then I have here my Google folder which has Google Drive and Google Photos. Um, I have here my shopping app which has Beauty Manila. Beauty Manila is where I source my favorite vitamins, my makeup, my healthy stuff, ganon. I also have here my Lazada app, my Shopee app. Carousel app, ASOS, Zalora, and Shein. And then I have here my ideas folder which has Tasty and Pinterest. I use Tasty for my cooking inspos kasi mahilig ako magluto guys. And, and ayun, I just love looking at um, food inspos there. And then for my fashion inspos and the kaartihan inspos, I just use Pinterest for that. So the last app that I have here will be my YouTube studio. Ayan, nilagay ko lang siya dyan kasi gusto ko nga pantay-pantay yung um, third home screen ko. So, Basically, that's my home screen. That's what's on my iPhone. Boring ba? Pero ganun lang talaga eh. Gusto ko talaga like super easy, like straight to the point lang yung also my iPhone na video ko. So basically guys, that is the end of today's video. That is the end of my what's on my iPhone. 
Ganun lang talaga siya. Super simple and straight to the point na itong video na to. Kasi wala naman talaga akong ginagawang special dito sa phone ko. But, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to use Widget Smith and how to customize your phone, I'll be recommending some videos that I watched before in my description box. So, make sure that you guys check that out. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. It's just at Angel Siciliano. And comment down below any video suggestions that you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah!